Welcome Tauruses. This is your love readings. Let's check in. Remember, in order to see the rest of the zodiac sign, you have to look and recognize whether they're hurt, bio, or hair people and use the link in order to access um, their um, reading. All right, Tauruses. Mm -mm -mm. So I see you Taurus mature men are showing up and uh, you young women between the age of 18 and 25. 18, 25, 35. You are young women. And a lot of you young women could be seeing a whole mature man. We're going to be finding out uh, who is this older mature man. But a lot of you young women have been seeing someone overseas and is in a, lo a love triangle. A lot of you young Taurus woman is waiting for someone to return. And the only reason you are with this older married man or this older man is um, for materialistic wealth. So a lot of you younger old women or th younger women between the age of 18 and 35 are seeing an older man and it's all because of financial stability. Now there's a lot of gossip, a lot of gossip, a lot of gossip and they're recognizing I see a lot of gossip and uh, this gossip is in another place, uh, in another city, a whole lot of gossip and it has to do with finance and career. And I see people are gossiping. Um, and, you know, and this is what I said, Taurus is, uh, sometimes it's better to keep your things to yourself. I see gossip, an older man, I have a family and they recognize that a lot of you young ladies, because you're the center of this rhythm, a lot of you young ladies between the age of 18 and 45 is connected to an older man. And everyone is aware that this older man has a family and I see your friends are gossiping over you. So you got to be aware who and what you tell ladies, okay? I see a love triangle where you older men, you family men, married men or family men, um, you, 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 you are involved with a whole lot of love triangle, a whole lot of love triangle. And there is also a lot that is going to be coming out. A lot of you are going to be finding out that family members were seeing each other. Now, ladies and gentlemen, far cousin or no far cousin, you're no royalty and no bl royal blood. It is wrong. A lot of family does this that um, have um, affairs with their cousin, first cousin or second cousin. Ladies and gentlemen, there are millions of people on this planet. It is unhealthy to have a relationship with someone in your blood line. I see they're going to be recognized that a sister and brother has been in a love triangle for a very long time. And I see that they're going to realize that you ladies are the one that have um, opened up the door to the sort of a relationship. Okay. Um, and, you know, people need to learn healthy boundaries of uh, what it is to have healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries is uh, no relationship with siblings. You cannot, uh, um, it is a sick thing to have, uh, um, that women are not recognizing, at least some women doesn't recognize it, but it is sick to have an uh, intimate relationship with your father, with your brother, or with first or second cousin, not even third um, cousins okay it's unhealthy ladies and gentlemen you create a lot of karma both um, for both of you so a lot of things is going to be coming out and a lot of things is going to be transpiring and a lot of things is going to be people are going to be recognizing that sisters and brothers and family members were in some sort of a long unhealthy because this is unhealthy having any relationship with your bloodline that has to do with intimacy going in bed and 
getting intimate it is wrong it is unhealthy ladies and gentlemen and i see that this is going to be coming out somehow um you tauruses you could be finding it out about someone around you you could be finding it out about your sister or your brother but some sort of unhealthy behaviors in a relationship is going to be coming out i see a lot of you young women are connected to an older man and it's only because of financial stability and they're going to be recognizing this that a lot of you Taurus young women um, have been seeing older men whether it's um, uh, however you see it they have been supporting you for a longer time and I see your friends are gossiping um, behind your back So Taurus is be aware. Very soon, clear this clearly decide what you want, so that it comes to you now. So a lot of you are caught up in some sort of a. Mm, 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 mm. Relationship, love triangles. And as you notice, these love triangles have to do with um, young people between the ages of 18 and 45. And these love triangles, however they're coming up, these love triangles, what is transpiring with these love triangles is that a lot of people are recognizing that, you know, you know, say, you know, personal relationship, mundane relationship is not working out for them. And um, in this time of the shutdown or this time of things are kind of unsettled, people, um, you know, move towards having someone that you can be connecting with and this is where I recognize that a lot of young people are going to be getting connected in a um, same-sex relationship hmm. so a lot of you life is going to be changing and the way life is going to be changing is because young people are going to be recognizing hey I need financial help and you know by looking for financial help that is where they're going to be recognizing because if you notice these uh, older married men you Taurus older married men businessmen um, some of you are going to be thinking hey I need to settle down um, it's time for me to have a family but somehow you recognize that playing around with younger um, people is immature and uh, you're going to be looking to connect with a family and I see that some of you are going to be turning your back on some sort of a relationship that you had with someone a younger female overseas because you're going to be recognizing that that relationship was only built on financial stability and some of you men are going to be you know, really turning your back and then recognizing, hey, I need to move forward and create a life for myself. I'm going up in ages. I can't keep on playing this game because all these young ladies are just in for the money. So a lot of you businessmen, and I'm seeing this as like business Taurus men, business Taurus men, you are recognizing, hey, um, you know, whatever that was happening and transpiring, um, you know, it was fun. But I'm thinking about time to create a family of my own or is going to be looking for a more mature person for myself in order to create some sort of a family um, for myself. And I see that that is going to be coming in very, very soon for you men. So men, um, you know, it, it, it's just natural for a lot of you men basically, um, you know, recognizing that. Uh, I've played the field and have played the game for a very long time. 
maybe it is time that I now start to look to create some sort of a family um, union for myself because I've seen it all. And I think that this is where a lot of you um, businessmen, high professional, you know, um, whoever you are, lawyers, doctors, I think because of the shutdown, you recognize that, um, you know, you were seeing someone overseas, but you recognize that this was not based on love. This was just based on financial um, stability. And now you're recognizing it is time that I let whatever that was going and choose for um, some sort of a family reunion. So you could have been working overseas and then you return home. And now you're recognizing that you're going to be looking for someone from your own, um, someone from your own, um, yeah, culture. And you're going to be trying to create some sort of a family union with them. Um, so Taurus says this looks very good. Um, let me know um, how it goes. Please um, share, um, show your love by thumbs up. I I am going to be moving forward. But if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. Remember, if you want to check out anyone else reading, you got to use the stamp, um, the stamp pad. Okay, Virgos, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Wow. <laughs> Virgo women, women. Um, blonde, green, uh, green eyes, you know it. Um, Virgo women, red hair women, blonde hair women, green eyes women, Caucasian women, mixed women with green eyes or any color eyes. This timeline, it's about you. Look at all that is coming up, ladies. This is brilliant. Um, sometimes I pull things. So it's unbelievable. Look at this, ladies. So I see true love is coming in. This is the romance of a lifetime. A lot of you, new love is coming in. True gem is coming in for you, ladies. So you, ladies, are going to be meeting someone. This person is going to be the real thing, okay? Um, no little stupid as um person. Um, this is just going to be the real thing. Just uh, New person that is coming in is going to be absolutely wonderful, brilliant, and it's going to be true love, true gem and true love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between this is that this person have a heart of gold. Um, it, it has a heart of diamond, and this true love is the love that a lot of you have been waiting for. Healing family issues is one of the situations that a lot of you um, should be looking at and I really love this deck. I've been using it. They stole um, my um, other love deck I've been trying to get it back But that was like um, one of the most uh, impressionate um, deck that was ever created and On my way back from Florida 2009 they stole that deck and that deck is like a deck that I have uh, um, really feel the passion of love with because not all decks and this deck is also one. All right. True gem. It's about something romantic, magical, a gift, a surprise, someone you least expect to impress you. A heart of who has a heart of gold. That's what I said. Expect the unexpected and an engagement ring. So, ladies, ladies, you blonde ladies, blue, green eyes, ladies, don't color your eyes and think that this is for you. There's a specific group of women that this is coming up. Yes, it's for the blonde ladies. Woo! So, blonde ladies, blonde female, red hair ladies, or fair female of any ages, this woman is significant in your reading, all right? And this is, this could be you or it could be a significant person. And whoever this person is, I see true love is going to be coming in for a lot of you ladies, a lot of you ladies. It's as if um, not only the gem, but true love is coming in. 
okay and this is like powerful love it's like the real thing the real deal it's not sugar-coated all right new love is coming in also a new person enters your life new love new faces of your life moving on to the next chapter with love if you're in a love relationship happiness renewal of love for yourself and for life and this is absolutely absolutely fabulous fab 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 ladies true love true love happiness strong bond innocence natured feeling of ease joy and art connection so virgo ladies virgo ladies this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous fabulous time for you virgo ladies and this is going to be good soulmate relationship is also going to be coming in but what i'm recognizing here is that short-term relationship is coming up for you blonde ladies blonde fair skin blue eyes green eyes uh, um caucasian red hair i see some sort of a short-term relationship so you are in between some sort of uh true love that you're not recognizing that this is a gold mine this is someone who came in for you so it's as if you blonde ladies are not recognizing what you have you're in the middle of something and not recognizing that hey i'm blessed to have these people in my life as my partner a lot of people are not recognizing that and you know because of that you're it's going to be short term because you don't recognize what you have so a lot of you blonde women um and fair skin light will get green eyes you're not recognizing what you have and it is going to become short term because you're not going to be um you know creating that stability around you in order for you recognizing what you have in your life wow virgo says like a lot of love around you short-term relationships some new love is going to be coming in and these uh, um new love that is coming in is you know it's a is a romance you have been waiting for for a long time but it's going to be very short term virgos this came up in 2017 also virgos in 2017 you met a lot of short-term soulmate relationship really and uh, um because of some sort of a family issue a lot of you have lost your soulmate and and this is a recovering from 2017 and you virgos are now recognizing that you know because of my family issues i met my soulmate and have lost my soulmate and that person was the person who i wanted to spend the rest of my life with but because family have indulged and intervened in my relationship, I have lost my soulmate. And a lot of you, especially men, are recognizing Jesus. My family has uh, like created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues uh, for me. And you're recognizing that because of your family, you have met uh, the love of your life, but lost the person. And it was a soulmate because of some sort of a family issue that created a whole lot of problems for you and for that person and that person have it was short so a lot of you virgos are going to be coming back and feeling this in this time period and this is 2021 so 2021 a lot of you virgos so go back to um, 2017 to see what was happening in 2017 who did you met in 2017 that makes your heart flutter that know you know within your heart that was the person that was the direction that was the person who were meant for you so whatever happened in 2017 a lot of you virgos need to go back in 2017 and recognize in 2017 who you met who was this person and how this person make you feel because there is some sort of a significant information and reason is going to be coming up that is going to be letting you know that whoever you have met in 2017 was meant for you and was meant to be in your life. But because of some sort of a family issues that was going on, your family and their issues and problems have ruined this relationship and this connection. So 
it is a month and you know virgos you you virgos because when virgos love they they love you okay so um there is no question when a virgo loves you they truly deeply loves you and when you hurt them they will hurt you um terribly i know you virgos i know you but the, 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 the difference with some people is that Virgos, when you are hurt by someone who you really love, you know, you create misery for this person and not recognizing that it's going to affect you in the long run. And I see that this is something that affected you because you love that person, but it's as if the person misunderstood some sort of a misunderstanding, whatever that was happening and transpiring. And you Virgos just created a mess for someone who you truly deeply love. For whatever the reason is, I see that some of you Virgos have to recognize um, this for yourself, that uh, um, whatever you do to another person is what is going to be affecting you. And whatever you have done to someone who you truly love, but because they hurt you, but there it was a misunderstanding. It was a huge misunderstanding. Family was intervening. A whole lot of family intervened, and that was the problem and the situation. So, Virgos, I know the way you feel about the situation, and I know you have so much pain dealing with the situation, but it as was as if family had intervened in a situation, and that is the reason why you have lost this soulmate. Let's see if they're going to be coming back. Let's see if whatever happens in transpiring and, uh, you know, give up and show up uh, what is going to be coming in and transpiring. So, um, Virgos, this is going to be a powerful alignment of energies. There's no question about this. This is going to be a really powerful time span um, for you. And it's good to follow the extended of the reading to find out who are these people and how are you going to be connecting with them. I got to go if you want to follow me to the other side and become a member um, to see the extended. And if you want to um, check out other readings for whoever you have met um, in 2017, you got to recognize, use the timestamp on their hurt. Just find out who they are, Sagittarius, Taurus, whoever the person is, and use the timestamp. Got to go. I'd love to see you on the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste. Hello. Capricorns, this is the love reading for you, Capricorns. Let's see. Um, this is a timeless. All my readings are timeless, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever you pick them up, it's the time that you should have them. Oh, 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 get to know each other. So I see a lot of you Capricorns are dating, and this is really a uh, a spiritual growth, a spiritual relationship. So. Um, get to know each other as you reveal your innermost secrets to each other you bond deeply okay then we see the ice cream and mm, um, if you are an Aquarian Capricorn Aquarian cops um, you're in for it a lot of you men um, Chocolate brown men could be getting divorced or having some sort of a legal issues that is coming up. Um, spiritual growth. A lot of you um, chocolate brown men are dealing with a whole lot of karmatic situation with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. So I don't know who this person is, but a lot of you young men and I see you young um, chocolate brown men and I'm talking like dark brown men, whether you're Indian, whether you're Afghan, you are having some sort of a spiritual growth, but karmatic one with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, okay? A lot of you are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, but you're unhappy with this person. And it's as if I've done a reading last year and I warned you, Capricorn men, not to get married to an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra but I recognize that you went through the process and now you have to pay your karmas. A lot of you um, working men or, you know, 
getting to know people but you're ending up in karmatic relationship so you can r recognize this um it's as if you capricorns like things the hard way whatever is happening or transpiring you love things the hard way whatever is coming up and transpiring you love things the hard way why why okay so i see a lot of you dating a lot of you businessmen or dating an aquarian gemini or libra person i would say end this end this right now ladies and gentlemen um work uh, it doesn't really matter um end this okay some of you could be a lawyer some of you it could be then go ahead um, if they are not air sign people, but if they're air sign people, end it because you're only creating more karmas for yourself. A lot of you business working men are going to be meeting um, someone that you have been, you know, this person was in your imagination or, you know, one day you could be hurt and you say, you know, I this is the type of person I'm looking for, this and this and this. And you send it out to the universe and let it go because you are in a hurt and the universe is going to be sending you this person so a lot of you are going to be recognizing this a lot of you young um men uh, chocolate brown men are recognizing that you in the past uh, um you connect with uh, someone on a higher spiritual level and how you knew this is because of uh, the interaction um the intimates and the interaction and how you could you know it doesn't really matter what this person did or how they communicate or whatever it's as if you connected with them in a higher frequency and higher energy and higher frequency you connected with them so powerful that you are now recognizing that whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring you connect with them in such a high focus high frequency and you are so powerfully aligned so whatever is it that is happening and transpiring, you're going to be recognizing that uh, you have uh, met someone in the past and you constantly think about this person. Constantly, constantly, constantly wondering why it didn't work out. Constantly wondering where is this person. Constantly wondering, am I ever going to be, uh, you know, seeing this person again? Constantly wondering, what did I you know why didn't it work you know what 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 happened and you you know uh you love this person deep something about this person that makes you feel as if you're alive and it's as if this person is 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 highly spiritually connected and i think that that is what attracts you to this person and even if they don't show it especially when you're in intimacy this person brings you to another level that you have never ever been before it's as if um the intimacy with this person is just so powerful and you know it's it's it's, it's like you're trying to you know recognize is it karma why is this person where is this person is it karma what happened um and you you got carted up with in a karmatic situation with a aquarian gemini or libra and it's as if this person like controlled you and even if you date other people you're so trapped by this person and it's not really that the sex is good or anything it's just that you are trapped this person holds you in karma and someone who was there that you you know you will see this person you date this person you but but, but something about this person just make you feel as if you're connecting to source but this person who you end up with is like 
you have so much karma to deal with this person. You got to let it go. You got to cut it. Because obviously this person used something in order to attract you. And you got to cut it. You got to break it. No one else can break this karma. So, um, you know, dark hair men, um, chocolate brown men, you are in karma relationship, okay? And whoever this person is, is that you're still waiting on this person. You're still waiting on this person. You, you have within you that you're still waiting on this person. You, you know, you want to be with this person. And it's as if you, it's like divine timing. It's as if divine timing. And you don't know where this person is. It's like this person disappear in thin air. And I think that this, you were not ready for this person when they were ready for you. And this is the reason why they just disappear in thin air. And I don't think, you know, you have and you believe, um, that you will, um, see this person again. Divine timing is, um, at work in your love life. Um, and you know, you're older and I see you're thinking, you know, the age doesn't, you know, it's like you're thinking, oh my God, the age doesn't really matter. I just want to see this person again. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever is happening and transpiring, I know, I know Capricorn men, I know, but, um, I know there is, there is, there is no question about it. There is no question about it is that you recognize, you understand, you know what is going on. Um, you are aware of what is transpiring. You feel, you know that whoever in the past, you should have gotten to know them much better. Because a lot of you are thinking, Jesus, why didn't I get to know this person better? I was just in with my ego and everything. And now you're recognizing, I just make a huge, a huge, huge. And it's as if you're thinking, you know, with hoping and, and keeping my hopes up and letting my hopes know this person will return to me. And in this meantime, I see a lot of you thinking about getting a better job, you know, but this karmatic relationship, you got to end it because a lot of you are in a karmatic relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. This is a really karmatic relationship. And, um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing how horrible this relationship is and you got to end it because this relationship doesn't, uh, doesn't, um, you know, doesn't propose, uh, um, anything good for you. Um, this relationship is karma. Karma mean you have tried it with this person in a lifetime before. It never worked. You decide to come back and try it, but it's, it has nothing to do with love. Okay. It has nothing to do with love, but someone you met and was dating and it is in the past. You recognize now that you had a, a spiritual connection with this person. And even in the time you felt it, even in the time you recognize it and you felt it, you felt that when you were by that person and you slept by that person or you spent a weekend with that person, that is when you feel alive. And it is like the only person that ever made you felt alive. And you blew it. And, you know, a lot of you just, it's, it's like a year going two years, but it's as if... It's like yesterday. So that means it is a spiritual connection. And now you're faced with a karmatic situation that you get tied up with someone else and it's karma and you're recognizing um, the spiritual relationship with, um, against the karmatic. Wow. Man, 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 man. All right. I got to go. If you'd like to see the end is, and extended of this reading, follow me to the other side. If not, namaste. Mm -hmm.